Hello there and welcome back. Today I have two animations for you and your job if you want to play the game is to tell me which one is made with which program. Today we are having Twitter and Open Tools. Write down, right now, yes, write down in the comments which one do you think is made with Twitter and which one do you think is made with Open Tools. You know how this works. So let's uh, let's go. If not, just keep watching the, the video, I guess. Uh, let's go. So I have these two animations, I made them with the Krita and Open Tunes and I'm gonna be comparing these two programs based on a couple of criteria. and the first one is the price. Yes, both of these programs, if you didn't know, now you do, they are completely free. Exactly. Completely free. Well, technically not though, because Krita has a funding uh, forum fund funding fund 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 yes yeah you can donate if you want to i will be leaving a link links in the description to both of these programs if you want to download them yes both of them are free but as i said krita has a little 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 bit of funding there if you want to share your funds if you will <laughs> so yes first things first that's out of the way now we're gonna take another look at the on the problems if you notice both of these animations are made by frame animations and uh in one of them we have two animations of course but uh when we look at both of the programs as twitter and open source we will see that in both uh, we can do frame by frame animation. So yes, you can do simple frame by frame animation in Krita and you can do simple frame by frame animation in Open Tools. Now this doesn't really tell us much because also in Open Tools and in Krita you can do uh, pretty animation. <laughs> yes. Now the only difference here is Krita recently added this, and when I say recently, it's already been a year. But in Open Tools that has been a function since almost forever. I'm not quite sure, but it has been there for a while. And both of them we can do frame by frame and train animation but that's where i guess i need to draw the line because when it comes to making more out of the program open tunes on this one kind of takes the lead in this one because you can do much more stuff in open tunes unlike in krita now keep in mind that krita initially is created to be a painting program even if you go to the website you're gonna see a painting program and not an animation program and which also leads me to uh, point out that uh the i think there are only two developers working on the animation yes i have a pen because i have notes and i play with the pen that's a very important thing look at the pen yeah it has this thing on top it's cute wait you can play with it it's a stress ball i'm not stressed but probably critics developers are stressed when it comes to animation pictures because again there are only two developers working uh for animation pictures in Krita, and they're not a lot unfortunately so in this case and when i have to you know draw the line and give the plus to one of the programs i will give it to open tools mainly because in open tools you can do much more unlike in Krita. Uh, in open tools there's this uh, tool called the plastic tool where you can make a mesh right and uh, based on your drawing and you can either make the drawing inside open tools or you can import it from uh, another um, software as an image and you can make a mesh then you can make a bone structure basically a, a skeleton and you can animate that drawing to look like a puppet animation sort of uh if you play around you can get very cool um results with that unlike Krita though you cannot do that in Krita now did they use the plastic tool for these two animations I did not I was getting very frustrated because mainly because I don't use that much uh, open tools and the UX of open tools is not the best thing uh, compared to Krita but yet the usability the functions in open tools they kind of take uh, uh, the upper hand in this one so we have to give the plus for open tools uh, and I will get back to this in a minute uh, because the next thing we need to consider is can we use open tunes and Krita on more than your typical devices now Krita as we know uh, is available for Android for your Android based tablet uh, I couldn't get that because they don't have an Android based tablet but currently you have to pay uh, at least I went to the Microsoft store uh, and apparently he can uh, get Krita for a specific amount of money price yes which was weird a little bit and also I, as I heard from people who use it on their tablets for Android okay I don't know if it's paid for Android or not um, 
when you do your animations, and I'm gonna be talking only for animation part of the program, it, it doesn't really allow you to handle your animation when you do it on an Android, um, on an Android tablet. So the only way you can render your animation is to export your um, frames into a limit sequence and take that sequence into another uh, powerful device as a PC or a laptop and then glue them together by using, I guess, a video editing program. Uh, unlike OpenTools, though, you cannot get OpenTools on a tablet. You only can get OpenTools either for PC or Mac, and that's the limit. No more, or no less. And it's still free, but it's uh, a bit limiting uh, that you cannot be as mobile as you would like to, unless you have like a fancy, uh, fancy schmancy tablet, like companion, whatever that is. But uh, no. That's that's the little bit of difference. Oh my god, the stress ball fell down. I, I keep keep playing with it. Ah! I broke my pen. No. I will get back to you in a second. When I look at both the animations I made, they're not the same. Basically, my patience was running low by the end of it, and I don't think I took the best the most out of both of the programs to be honest uh, but in conclusion i would say this uh, open tunes is a very well present well not, not presented but very well made animating program in which you can get the most out, out of it uh, by having extra features uh, where in Krita you don't have that. You have a drawing uh, program with Krita and you have some animation features which will maybe limit your experience. Now the only downfall, at least for me, aside from pushing my microphone, I apologize for that. The only downfall for me when I look at OpenTools is the interface. Now I have worked before with OpenTools a long time ago, so I'm, I'm kind of familiar with the, the interface to some degree. It's a very, very hard interface if someone's just talking out. Uh, for example, in uh, OpenTools, uh, the layers are not called layers, they are called levels. One of the advantages is that in OpenTools, you can animate with vectors. Now, there's also a downfall to that that I wasn't very aware. I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong, uh, I'm not quite sure. But <laughs> I was drawing with the vector layers, with the vector strokes, and I was having this problem here. Again, it did not help with my patience. It was frustrating from my part. And I'm like, <laughs> the other thing in OpenTools, I wasn't sure how to resize my drawings properly. It's a bit hard to, to do that. But it's not very intuitive. Intuitive, intuitive, intuitive. And that worked. I, I don't know how to do that properly because in, in Krita, you grab the move to you press Control and uh, T, and you can resize and holding. Uh, control or Alt to have some, or even pressing the right button to get some extra um, resizing. Uh, in in OpenTools, that's a bit hard to, to navigate around. I'm sure there's a way. I tried to watch a couple of tutorials on different topics inside OpenTools, and I will leave some in the, in the description down below. But now when I say that, if we look again at the two animations, I feel like you can tell which one is which. The moment of truth, which one do you think again? Don't change your comment. Let's see if you got this right. So yes, this animation over here is made with... With open tools. Yes, I... <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not good. If I have spent more time, maybe it would look exactly like the first one. Well, like this one. But I didn't, I feel like it, it will even look better than the Krita one. Uh, because again, OpenTools is a more uh, finished type of, uh, more well-rounded animation program rather than Krita. And we need to take this as uh, a big uh, advantage point for OpenTools. Uh, in conclusion, Again, look at the two animations. They're not bad, and if you spend your time, you do even better than me. And you won't be stupid like me to <laughs> try to animate two characters in a falling pot. I, I I wanted to do a simple animation as an example, and yet I end up with two characters in a falling pot, and that and that kind of took away from my energy for my reason. Um, but overall, uh, yes, can we do frame by frame animation in both of the programs? Yes. Can we do 3D animation? Yes. You know, in the critical one, I did not use the 3D animation. Uh, but 
Mm, yeah, it's it's a time consuming. What can I say? The frame by frame animation, and, and I just went through that. My main uh, disadvantage here is that I didn't know quite well how how to use open tools and how to use the tools inside open tools. And for that, I think when I compare these two programs, I have to give it to open tools because then again. Is the more finished product at the end of the day compared to Krita. But in conclusion, uh, it's up to you which program you want to use. It's a free world and both of them are free, technically. Uh, the difference is if you want to make vector animations, uh, I mean, use open tools for that. Uh, Krita is a good program as well, uh, but when it comes to raster layers, in Krita they're called paint, paint layers. Uh, let's say you have a drone you want to modify to resize that drone, whatever. With every single frame, that same drawing will lose its quality. Unlike in uh, in Open Tools, where it, the quality of your strokes stays the same. Now, I didn't know how to do that with a raster layer slash level in Open Tools. My strokes there were not as smooth compared to Krita, even though Krita also uses raster. Uh, uh, maybe it's part of the settings, I don't know, I need to, to dig into that, that's why I decided to use the vector uh, option rather than the raster option in, in Open Tools, and that's what I got by the end of it. And uh, yeah, you make your own decisions at the end of the day, I hope this video was helpful, I hope you got the right answer, if you didn't, that's okay, that's okay, we, we get it wrong sometimes once in a while uh so i hope you found this video to be helpful i will see you in the next one uh stay healthy and i need to, I need to fix this because i didn't fix it properly god damn it i broke my pen now look at it yes anyway uh subscribe for more like this dislike this share this with your dog and uh i guess i'm gonna see you in the next one until then stay healthy and uh, use critter and open tools uh, or any other program for that matter and make better animations than me Good luck with that. <laughs> oh, no focus on my thumb. What the hell? Yeah. Anyway, goodbye. I hope this audio now records just because apparently it's not recording properly my recording program. And now it shuts off. Great. Bye.